Today is reported to have killed 10 people and injured three more at the training ground of one of Brazil's most successful football clubs, Flamengo. The fire broke out at the Nino de Urubu facility in Rio de Janeiro in a building which houses the club's youth team players. Let's speak now to Julia Canero, our correspondent in Rio. Julia, what do we know? Well, this fire broke out uh, overnight, Gita. It seems to have been in the early hours of this morning. Uh, it, this training facility is in the western part of Rio, and there are already uh, families gathering there, uh, anxious for information about the victims. Uh, the names of the people who were injured and are in hospital, these are three young men, 15 and 14 years of age, uh, have been disclosed, but the names of those uh, that have been killed by the fire, according to firefighters here in Rio, have not yet been made public. So, of course, there's huge anxiety from parts of the families that had uh, young boys uh, living in those facilities. Uh, this is all a structure that belongs to Flamengo. This is the biggest football club in Rio. It's cherished by the city, uh, and of course, here it's a, a dream for young men to uh, go into football. For so, f for them, for f this uh, fire affected uh, the dormitory of these uh, youth, th these youth categories of the team. So, young men who were being trained to go up the ladder and hopefully make it into professional f football in the future. Uh, so it's it's not um, any presumption to imagine that uh, it's it's a dream come true for many of them uh, being there, and this fire hit uh, the dormitory of the the youngest uh, parts of the the team, these uh, categories that were being trained to be professional footballers of Flamengo. So these are children. Um, terrible news, of course, for their families. Um, we, we know that the, the situation is still ongoing, Julia. Uh, any word at all as to how this fire started? No, not yet. Uh, this will still be investigated. Firefighters are still at the scene uh, working. The fire, it seems, has been controlled. Uh, and uh, But we're still waiting for definitive numbers to see if, if uh, there were any more victims. Uh, the families have now been ushered into the center uh, where the directors of Flamengo are gathered and there were lots of journalists there already asking them questions. So in a way, this seems to be a, a means of protecting them and, and providing them more information about what's happening. And the team has not yet come out to speak to say what happened and, and how uh, this happened. But it is a big shock. Uh, that uh, training facility, Gita, is referred to here as Nino Durubu, as you said. That means um, vulture's nest. And that's a reference to the mascot of Flamengo, the vulture, uh, which is sort of embraced by all the fans of the team. And it's a nest because, of course, it's, it's fostering the, the futures of all the younger, uh, the younger generation that are entering the team. And that precisely, that nest has been affected by this dreadful fire. Very sad. Julia, thanks very much. Julia Canero there in Rio. We will keep you updated on that.